Call me Neoblade. This is a short tutorial how you can improve your mechanics and what you need to learn for beginner basics with mechanics, hotkey layouts, cameras, control groups and using hotkeys. The first part is about cameras and different hotkey layouts. You see the core and this is the core Protoss which is indicated here with the letter P and I never got used to using the core but it's recommended by a lot of players um, but on the other hand many people do not play with the core even high league players so it will make you a little bit faster but in the lower leagues if you forget to inject a hatch it doesn't matter if it's very fast for you it matters that you forget about it but you have to make your own choice and if you're bronze or silver um, and want to real dive into the game you should definitely about using the core it might look weird that you um, have a zealot on F W 3 2 but you will position when using the core you will position um, your left hand natural on the keyboard and they made um, hotkey layouts for um, people who use the right hand for the keyboard too but please take a look at the core I will make um, a download uh, uh, to the video from Jack Attack I will put in the description below. What's very interesting about the core is cameras and we have to talk about that too. You need your thumb to get to the Alt key and create a location and you need to use the Shift key and Q to jump to the location which I find very very difficult to learn but that's totally up to you if you like that um, using all of your fingers which makes it very efficient then you should take a look at the core what I find distracting too but that's only my humble opinion is um, selecting a control group with Q is totally nice because um, then you have seen okay your index finger is on F or on R um, whatever you like but that means a Q you can reach it with your pinky very easily but to add to a control group is very very difficult but they use the new functions control Q and stuff like that for um, the add and steal functions you can see a video powered by Jack Attack in the description below regarding that let's see this for a more common hotkey layout like standard control one select control group one but the cameras are very difficult to reach and create F5 is very far away so you should think about using create location and F1 and jumping to location with not control with F1 then you see there will be something unbound idle worker and I need this but you can choose a different hotkey for idle worker as well I made myself um, something based on grit. Um, I will show grit beforehand, and you just see okay, all your units you build probes, drones, and SEVs with, uh, with the hotkey Q. I made this a little bit more personal because. I like my camera location on Z 
h and n. So attack move is on t with uh, my hotkey layout with grid 2 and z is right beside it and I can jump to this location and my hand is used to a move all the time so z is not that far away and z h n is below each other so I can easily jump to a location. This is my preference. You don't have to do that. You can think about your own stuff. Personally, I would recommend starting with grid. Um, jump to a location, put it anywhere you like and create location and then you should be fine to start with the game. So I will show a replay regarding cameras. I apologize, my video crashed again. I have the problem if I open the SC2 editor and StarCraft at the same time. Somehow my 8 um, gigabyte RAM are not sufficient anymore. But this is about cameras and f first of all you can use it for every race for worker transfer. If you're transferring workers to a next base then you can use cameras. I did here. And of course you can use it for injects as Zerg. But you can also use it if you see a drop incoming then you jump to the base where the drop will commence and sometime I'm used the, the rapid fire inject as you can see here which is a different technique but many people and many pro players use cameras to inject so I chose this but you definitely should use cameras with all races and you see now using cameras and I of course use control groups for my army as well I'm sorry this was not the right key here at the control groups one two three and you can also use cameras to check your to check your um, production to check upgrades in this instant but I always use hotkey 9, control group 9 for my evo chambers which is bound to a different um, hotkey as well which so I can reach this hotkey early on so there are many 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 different reasons why you should train hotkeys but I showed you worker transfer incoming drops and injects so this is it for cameras and we'll jump in the next part to hotkeys this is the next part you go to the arcade type in hotkey this is rated more but I think it does not contain the new upgrades like the blink ability for DT so I chose this one and you can use hotkeys so of course we're in the part where hotkeys are explained I've showed the hotkeys for the core standard and grid and you should definitely use do not use the command card and create the hotkeys using this so the hotkeys are displayed down here and then you can train here's the word zealot and you press Q here's the word probe you press Q here's the word adapt and you press R Voitre E Tempest T and Oh, sorry. I built I built the wrong stuff, and now Overwatch is 
create a lack with an update. Great. But I think you grasp the concept. If I would concentrate, I would type the right hotkeys. You see the wrong count with three, the correct count, the reaction time. Normally my reaction time is about 1.2 seconds to 1.8 seconds, if I'm not talking. You see I'm able to do it a little bit faster if I'm not talking. So this is it about hotkeys and I hope you will enjoy this map. It will definitely improve your hotkey usage and the speed with your hands pressing hotkeys and creating units and so we'll see us in the last part which is called control groups. This is the last part called control groups and here we have it check production. I will just rewind a little bit and this is the wireframe. You have it normally in the middle but I like this observer interface because you can see more and you use control groups to check your production to jump to your army and it's important to have an army hotkey which I forget here because Terran is not my main race but you can show control groups very good using Terran mechanics. I just pause here. It's totally up to you how you choose your army hotkeys and stuff like that. I only need one because um, I do spellcaster then on zero circumflex and can jump to them. Two control groups for my army are enough for me but if you wanna th choose three or four it's totally up to you. I use three for my main production facilities, town halls, two for barracks, gates and stuff like that. I ch built only one factory to, so I can show you how to check your production and I choose one starport so I can show you how to check production for one unit. If you want to know more about this, please check out the mental checklist powered by Day9 and his mental checklist exercises. I think it's his daily number 30, 60, um, sorry, 360 or 360. So go, go, go. I choose this map. You can easily choose um, a map playing against a very easy AI, no problem, but I like to um, try to keep my money low. This is not very, it's very high amount, 3,600, but you will find out that in the beginning 3,600 is a lot of stuff. Uh, is you, will, you will reach that and the map will kill you, but you, it's very easy, it's set on very easy, and you can A move your army into death if you need to free supply, which is important if you have 200 supply. And you have to move a probe around. This might be a little bit... I cannot unpause. Please do not crash. No. So ready for dust off. You can see I now jump to my Proberto because I have to move it around and I check my production while I'm not looking at my base. This is a very very important step to learn. And I have a control group from um, 
an SCV which produces constantly um, depots. I use cameras to relocate my SCVs. I built a little bit too many SCVs. Again, this is not my main race. And I use control groups to check the production again to build add-ons and you have seen to show just uh, we'll show it again I use I ch check my production producing tanks or I check my tank production this is the right way to call it I check my medivac production and my banshee production if this unit mix or unit composition makes sense to you, it doesn't matter at all, it's just about control groups in this game. And you can see I could easily improve checking the production, building tanks. And I should, uh, I should have expanded more. We'll just fast forward through it. I press 4, checking my tanks. I press 6. Checking my medivacs, three, four marines, Ready for dust off. two, four mules, Ready to roll. factory, starport, and I think you should have grasped the concept why you, you should use control groups all the time. It's totally important to use cameras, hotkeys and control groups. In the description below you will find um, another video how to train cameras, control groups and hotkeys and I definitely recommend you try out this stuff because otherwise you might train it in the ladder and then in the ladder you have other stuff to do like defend and building bases and um, using drops and stuff like that. It's not the m best scenario to train hotkeys, cameras and locations. Sorry, cameras, hotkeys, control groups. You should use uh, an environment where you can practice stuff like that. So thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel and I see you guys next time.